2007 Jeep JK Wrangler Unlimited. If the Mini Countryman is so British, the Jeep Wrangler is insurmountably American. My pick is getting harder every day. The trick is using cock rings so the erection will stay. And also driving Wranglers give your confidence a boost. You'll be the biggest cock inside the roost. All your Jeeps are belong to us. And all your Wranglers are like the Lulu Plus of cars when there's a Netflix out there taking up the market share. These compact SUVs we must discuss. Our thoughts are thus. The JK is compact and mid-sized, like a frat guy in the early stages. The Wrangler is descended from the greatest generation. You know, the guys who implemented Medicare. They had names like Red, and they jerked it to Rita Hayworth. This is the great-great, multiple-great grandson of the Willys. Or is it Bantam? Or is it Ford, because they made Jeeps too? Whatever, this is the grandson of all of them. And it's a Heffalump. This Jeep drives like a Ford Explorer from the late 90s. What happened? What happened to the cheerful and whimsical TJ? Jeep rhymes with cheap, and that was the whole point of those little 4x4s. What is this? The Jeep JK is Gulliver being tied down by a hundred special interests and their lily putting demands. I want my Jeep to be rugged in a Docker's khaki kind of way, but I also want my Jeep to protect my children. And that's a problem because Jeep has always been a romping, joyous car with safety in quotation marks. The YJs and TJs were a delight, but the Jeep J JK is a stroller for your imagined masculinity when your man cave plans get shot down at Thanksgiving. What on earth is this Jeep doing with a V6 engine? A V6 is a cylinder configuration for my Y-missing relatives to use in a rental Sebring while vacationing in Orlando. Or as an alternative, OBX, yeah, going to the Outer Banks. OBX stickers all over my Jeep. Okay. Here's what happens when you arrange cylinders in a V configuration. You create a more compact engine block than the straight six, which was originally in these cars. And that's weird because the JK has a larger engine bay than the TJ, so why does it need a compact engine? It's using a V6 because a V6 is smoother than a straight six. It will always be that way. Yes, Chrysler had derived that AMC straight six into a very smooth running engine, especially in the Cherokees, but a V6 is just plain old smoother, it's just physics. But why do you want a smooth running Jeep? Jeeps are supposed to be raucous, what's the point? I thought you were a beef jerky rugged man who knows how to use flint and steel and jerks off with chainmail gloves. The V6 is in this Jeep to appease baby boomers. Like it or not, it's still their world. The baby boomers are still the largest age bracket in America. Why do you think there's so many nursing jobs? The boomers are the reason why manual transmissions are going away, suspensions are getting softer, same sex marriage is still controversial, and Motley Crue Law enforcement departments in ho-hum towns have enough military gear to fight ISIS. Boomers vote in the largest groups and, judging by the busloads of college graduates still living at home, still hold the most wealth and land. This is the world they want, and this is the Jeep they want to drive. Jeep JK, for the 70-year-old Vietnam veteran with an aggressive blonde comb over, rigidly saluting the flag while his double-stuffed Oreo wife sits in a collapsible nylon folding chair and claps to the predictable half-note bass drum beat of Stars and Stripes Forever. Anyway, this was our second Chicago car, and the owner was a young man who ended up getting into an accident. It had nothing to do with the car, had nothing to do with this Jeep, but he was laid up in the hospital when we arrived to shoot his car. So his dad came instead. I don't care that, <laughs> I don't care that I'm in the hospital. Please, please, I don't want to lose my spot. So thank you so much, dad, for, for coming over and letting us review your son's car. Let's see where it, yeah, one, two, that's a pretty good throw, two, three. Four. Oh, it's a six-speed. That's six, interesting. Yeah. And and reverses, reverses way, way over, over and down. down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I just got done talking about baby boomers and it's your son's car, but all right. The father ended up being a pretty terrific guy and his patience was unending for what I was about to do to his Wrangler. Rah. Rah. Whoa, that 
that. Whoa! Sorry about that. I didn't know that was that deep. That's right. That was cool. <laughs> and these things also have, you know, drain plugs on the. Really? You can get wet and drain the water out. And it wasn't unlike the type of patience a wrangler has for what you want to do to it. It's like a high school sweetheart who lets you do whatever you want because she's learning to. And then you see her years later at a mutual friend's wedding and you spend the night grooving your ass off to that sick Sugar Hill beat before heading into the coat closet and give her the old angry dragon. Because this is what weddings are really like when you're adults. If you're still in high school, know that when you go to weddings in college, you bang. I remember Remember this one time? <laughs> Holy crap, I should really tell this story in the middle of a car review. No, what if the girl actually figures out it's me and that I fingered? <laughs> I can't tell that story. She was wearing like a, I'm not joking, she was wearing a headlamp. Like one of those, like things for camping, but it was, it had the red lights in it so she wouldn't lose her night vision. I gotta like do a podcast or something to tell this story. Oh, it's so bad. It gets creepy, like this is my freaking life. Anyway, you have a string of sexual partners who all list The Princess Bride as their favorite movie, live on a diet of Greek yogurt and canceled plans, and whose dirty talk basically amounts to, oh, you're in so deep. Like, why? Why are you telling me that I'm in deep? What is it about women that they don't think we can tell? Why is that the go-to phrase? I'm not spidlunking here. I, I don't need to know my exact depth. Do I need to pull out and check it like a dipstick? Can't you just say something like, Oh yeah, do that <laughs> in that voice. Oh yeah, do those fractions. Do them. But even with the lousy, dirty talk, you still come back for more. And you still come back with the Wrangler. Even though there are better compact SUVs on the market, Suzuki sidekick, because the Jeep's a classic. Even if you're sick of it, you'll come back because it's familiar. It's the automotive equivalent of Hotel California. <clears throat> So what is it like to drive this really big Jeep? Well, this is a less jerky ride than the TJ, thanks to the five-link straight axle suspension in the front and the rear, along with the stiffer, fully boxed frame, and the recirculating ball steering system. This was downright sturdy, which made sense considering what its forebearers are used to. It gets from zero to 60 in just under 10 seconds. It makes about 220 horsepower to living 237 pound-feet of torque using a six-speed manual. Manual. Transmission. It's a product that when you look at it in total, it suggests that America can build a car that stands on its own. Outside the context of what foreign manufacturers are doing, it's an ode to modern American exceptionalism, sort of a, an off-road Eli Musk, a microcosm about how the U.S. approaches foreign affairs. The Wrangler presents something that packs a wallet, but it also has a light enough touch to keep from coming across like a bully. It's a daily driver that screams might is right. But we're willing to do business because America. It's a vigilant car because we have vigilant enemies. It's the automotive equivalent of that guy who can't shake the feeling that people he can't stand are behind him. He's a suburban commando, keeping an eye out for shiftless kids. The kind of monsters who take up two spots, bash mailboxes, and don't seed their torrents. The JK is for the guy who asks himself, what would my enemies do? He wants everybody to struggle just as hard as he does. This is the guy at the gym who leaves the TV on sports because he wants to see other people having a hard time too. When the cops warned him as a teenager against doing donuts in the CVS parking lot, his response was, oh, don't worry, my car can't do that anyway. He says these words to take the possibility of rebellion off the table instead of just saying, yes, sir, because he doesn't want to be seen kowtowing to authority. And he grows into an adult who keeps a cooler of two of every domestic draft, like a Noah's Ark of barley and hops. He grows up with a yellow ribbon on his screen door, a flag that comes inside the house at the first sign of rain, and a Jeep Wrangler in the garage. I wonder if the... No, these don't. These don't do the Wrangler thing where the windshield goes oh, down. Oh, no, it does. It does? Yeah, that's what the black knobs are. Oh! See, I, I, I guess you gotta paint... Pain. Oh. You get, there's, um, oh, you gotta take all this, all this plastic yes. off? Oh! oh. RCR, we're here every week. We're reviewing a Wrangler Jeep with regular and plus the Roman. The move will never end. It's RCR. I need a Jeep. Gonna give the suburbs hell. You're in so deep. Do you think that I can't tell? Everyone says. 
the clearance is too low. All my friends buy the Moab edition, bro. The Moab edition, bro. The Moab edition, bro. The Moab edition, bro. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, Mr. Regular. Turn my headphones up. I can't hear a thing. The truth is I ain't got much cash But I hustle each day like I do have such cash Cause this review got that Wrangler flow This busted ghost got that Egon Spangler flow Birth from the rib of the Willis line Who knew something big and cheap could be this fine Three fingers deep in a clerk from Upper Darby Going down below, I guess I'm thinking Arby's I'm ready to put the work in Stop jerking to that teacher hustling on Vine twerking Ready to ride this Wrangler on the better days Looking for better ways to get ahead to Cheddar Days, and I work that V6 On a such a roll with flow like waves that make them seasick More personality than Herbie in here Comfy interior like a giant Kirby in here Horsepower like the Kentucky Derby in here More lasting popularity than a Furby in here That's why I'm always grinning like I'm listening to Ween Always winning cause I'm listening to Sheen uh, The Wrangler is America bursting onto the foreign scene It handles so sick they should keep this brick in quarantine They should keep it in quarantine Get the Ebola under control people, I'm out